Hey guys, it's me Arrow again. I'm gonna use my hands because I like using my hands. But I'm gonna try to keep it away from my face. So I got a lot of flat glass I've used in my hands. Um but this video is more about I guess friends, family and levels, whoever you're with or whatnot. Sometimes I don't know I'm going with this. But anybody have have heard the term vampire, right? You think of vampire, you think of blood sucking, right? Well, I use the term vampire as in somebody that takes away your energy, someone that gives you negative energy back, that uses your energy for their own gain. Um, it sounds kind of crazy to some people. Some people might understand where I'm coming from. But it's really hard to explain. Um, you have, like, I have a few friends that I have slowly exited out of my life because they were such a drain on me. They were such a drain on me. It was always negative. To it. Negative. There was no positive in their life. There was nothing that they were happy about. Everything was going wrong. You couldn't help them. You couldn't, no matter what you tried to do, no matter if you gave them money, if you loaned them money, if you did that or this, just to get them back to where they kind of needed to be, it was still a negative thought. And it was like, oh, blah, 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 negative, negative, negative. And sometimes, for, for our own health, we need to get rid of the negative people that keep on bringing us down, keep on sucking out our energy, or even those people that take so much time from you, and you don't even realize how much time that they have taken up in your life, and so you kind of go back and you're kind of like, what the hell just happened? I spent half a day with this person and I was only going to be there for like two or three minutes to do one or two things and to take off. I have stuff to do. I mean, it happens to me sometimes, and I kind of slowly cut that out uh, so I wanted to hang out with that friend which a lot of fun I love hanging out with my friends don't get me wrong I love hanging out with my friends but the negative ones that were always negative um, I'm slowly have been exiting them out of my life because it's a drain it's a drain on your own spirit it's a drain on your own energy and it's giving them your energy it's taken away from you basically and if you really want to grow I hate saying that word if you really feel like you want to grow and learn from people would be to learn from positive people to be able to talk to positive people to people that still want to live their lives that want to do something that go out and about and do something with our lives that just that go doing something maybe just walking and looking stuff online about history or government or mathematics or planning a trip across the world which would be epic so if you're doing that let me know I'll join you I don't know how I'll come up with the money but I'll love doing that I, uh, especially going to your Anyways, that's what I was going with, is if you have a friend, a family member, or maybe somebody that you're dating, maybe it's time to kind of look at what you're doing with them and see if they're draining you of your happiness, of your happy-go-lucky beat, of just... Well, they're not so time consuming and your mind's wrapped around them to make sure that they're okay. I mean, we all have a friend or two that are going through stuff. I have a friend that's going through lupus. I have another friend that um, is dealing with parents' death. I have another friend that is already sick with something and stuff like that. I mean, that's different. But I'm talking about the people that are like just 
negative about everything. Even if they have everything going right, there's some kind of negativity that they're trying to... It's... I don't know how to explain it right. It's... Um... It's just... You have people that are going to fuck with you, use your gift, um, use your mind, and just use you. If you find anybody like that, trying to do that to you, trying to use you, trying to fuck with you, trying to use your gifts, and I'm talking about medium, psychics, um, empathic people. I think this goes more to the empathic people and mediums and stuff. This video is more about, I guess, people with gifts. I hate using gifts. I hate using power. I hate using those terminologies because it's. For me, I find this as a gift and a curse. Because I feel more than I let on. And it just. I don't know how to explain it. It's weird. Something new for me. But it's a very interesting thing. It's like I said, it's very interesting lately and what's going on with me. But back to what I was talking about was family, friends, and just people that are around you. Maybe it's if things just seem if things just seem so negative around you right now, maybe it's time to see who's around you and who's not around you. And maybe kind of just cut out whatever's making an impact, a negative, making a negative impact on your life. Um, there are a few friends that I've been thinking about that I need to cut out of my life, and I'm slowly have been doing that. And I gotta say that things are looking more up and looking more positive. Um, I don't know where I was going with this video. <laughs> I'm kind of lost at. I have so many ideas in my head, I just can't say them loud enough. Well, not loud enough, but I can't. My mind's just all over the place right now with what I really want to say, and I can't say for some other reason. Oh, yeah, we're talking about vampires. Um. Like I said, vampires to me are people that take away from you, that just take away your energy, that just are using you, are just bad, bad people. I don't really believe in blood sucking vampires, but I do believe in energy sucking vampires. I mean, that's how I kind of put it in terms of energy for me. I've explained it to one or two other people. They may may not think I'm crazy. I I mean I am crazy, but <laughs> um, not the cuckoo mental. Well, probably am, yeah, but anyways, just anything bad. I mean, we're always gonna have something bad happen to us at one point of our lives, but it's the people that just want to take your energy from it, that just over do it. I mean we all have life events that impact us greatly. We all have we all have different things. And it's hard to decide which one's which, which one's just overdoing it and which one's really being sincere. I mean it it is hard, but it's not hard because you know who's trying to play you and who isn't. The people that are trying to play you, you need to get them out of your lives. No matter how much you love them and how much you care for them, it's something you should do for yourself. Um, I'm ending this because I don't know where I went with this. But I love you all, and I will make another video pretty soon. Bye, guys. Oh, yeah. I want to do something really funny. Ah! Okay, that's it. Bye.